This is a little update video on the Raspberry Pi project. Um, I just got in these thermal pads um, that I'm going to be using for the CPU cooler on the Raspberry Pi. Um, they were a bit, these ones are more thick than the uh, ones that came with this uh, ice tower cooler. And like when I even went to try and use the one or uh, like take off one of the little pads for the ice tower cooler, it just like ripped in half. And these ones are a bit better. They had more, or they had better reviews. And um, I can cut them however I please, like for different sizes if I want to use them on different things. Um, and uh, I, I've few reviews said that they cooled better than like other thermal pads that uh, were got off bought off Amazon. Uh, in addition to that, I went out and I got a 128 gigabyte uh, SanDisk Extreme Plus uh, micro SD card. I know that 128 gigs is a little bit overkill, um, but I did want to, I'm doing this whole build as sort of like a, almost like a budget desktop, like something you could use as like a light daily driver. Um, and so I, I went out and picked one of these up. I also measured out on here what I'm gonna have to cut out. Um, I'll have to cut out, like, so this will sit, these are the little things that hook onto the Raspberry Pi, that go through those holes. So these gotta have to line up here. There's no holes over here because it just, it stops off. Um, but these are supposed to line up with these two holes there. If I can get that. And then, oh, well these are centered. Um, well they're supposed to line up with that and then I just measured around it. Sorry, I can't get a good angle. I'm having to film with one hand. Um, but I measured that out and it should leave, there will be a small gap, like some sp space to play around with, but it won't be like a huge gap. Like there's not gonna be a whole lot of space. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, 4.3 centimeters. Um, you cut from here to here, 4.3 centimeters and then four centimeters, and then 4.3 centimeters, and another four centimeters as well. And you will still be able to use, uh, I believe that's the camera ribbon cable port. You will still be able to use that. Um, it will just come out like right next to the ice tower cooler if you want to add a camera. Um, and then the display ribbon cable one will be left alone. Um, you will still get some of the, like, roundness from this uh, opening. That's just because I didn't want to, I could have taken this back more, but I didn't want to, like, cut into that display port cutout. Um, so I just left it alone as it is. Plus, this is, like, the first real one that I'm doing. Um, I, mi I might do another one, like, fine-tune this and maybe do see how this works out and then maybe make some slight modifications to it later on. Um, I did I did draw out just like a little, a drawing of this exact thing, just so I had it on paper and I had notes. Um, and then I did also note, you see in the bottom, you get the little standoffs. I did write down all the ones that were needed um, these, I believe these were the taller ones. These are the 25 millimeter, um, ones. This is what the, this side is where the little, um, added display or port, uh, the port relocator is going to sit. And then the Raspberry Pi sits over here. Um, and I bought a kit that comes with spares because I did need some of these that didn't come with the kit. Like, if you look, these ones over here are shorter, and that's because when you go to put this on top, 
So when you have like the front pieces on, it's gonna sit like right there and the screws are gonna go through. But the ones that came with it were slightly taller because it's just assuming that the Raspberry Pi is sitting in there. However, I need to get the, um, first I get the Raspberry Pi sitting in there and then I need to put another one of these uh, M2.5 by six plus six millimeter screws like these um, on top of the, where the pie is gonna sit so that this can then sit on top of that. And then I need to add um, these uh, M2.5 nuts on this side to cap it off. And then uh, I believe I need to add them on this side as well. And then once I add those, there will still be enough threads left over for this to then go on. And then that will, all of that kind of sandwiched together will make these be the same height. And I have gone ahead and tested that with this, just this two gig Raspberry Pi. Um, this isn't the one I'm gonna be using in, in this. I'm gonna, I have an eight gig of RAM Raspberry Pi on the way. Um, but yeah, these are just spares that I needed and it's always good. Like this was, I think $12 on Amazon. Um, this, I think it's a 10 by 10, 10 by 10, yeah, 10 by 10, um, square of thermal pads on Amazon. These were, I think $10. Um, and then this SanDisk, um, 128 gig was, I think it was about $30 from Best Buy. I just went and picked that up. And I also got a 64 gig just as a, a spare. I might use that with this two gig one um, because the one that I had in it, it was a 16 gig. Uh, just wasn't enough for all the things that I was trying to mess around with. Um, and so I'll just, you can go ahead and pause here or I'll actually leave, I'll write this in the description of the video for all the different screws. Now some of them, like these smaller ones, they didn't actually say what they were in the description from the kit that I ordered and I couldn't find online what they were. They were smaller than this one. So I went ahead and um, sort of took a bit of a gamble uh, and assumed because I'm I held them up next to each other that these ones were about two millimeters shorter than these ones. So I just went ahead and wrote uh, four M2 and a half, M2.5 by four millimeter. Um, and then I assume the threads are gonna be by four or plus four millimeter as well. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm still trying to find out exactly what they were, what they are. Um, if by chance it's not that, then I'll I'll put in the description that, you know, I was wrong and I'll put the correct ones down there. But um, yeah, so this is just a quick little update of all the things. Um, I did measure this out. It's probably gonna be a rough cut. I'm gonna leave this tape, this like protective acrylic covering on. I might even do like some blue painters tape around uh, on both sides, just so I could uh, cut through. Um, and then I'm not sure when I'll be doing that. Maybe I might use this Raspberry Pi and just, um, cut this out and then try the CPU cooler, um, just as a test. So I make sure if I need to make any changes or, um, like shave off some extra space or whatnot, that it'll be all good for the time that when the, uh, eight gig of RAM Raspberry Pi gets here, that it works. Um, the other thing that I did want to, uh, I sort of thought about maybe like a later iteration, but this here, there's actually another uh, five volt power, um, like if you wanted to run a fan or something here. So what, an idea that I had is, um, like you see the Raspberry Pi will sit on this side, it'll sit in there like that, and then this one, hooks into the side of it and sits there and the ports come out the back. And you know, then these go on. This one sits um, right here 
This is so you can have access to the memory card on the Raspberry Pi. And then there's these side panels. This one is for the side with the GPIO pins. And it goes on just like that. Um, and then this one goes over on this side where the little um, extra board sits. And I, an idea that I had would be maybe at a later date or a, a different, like maybe version two, uh, when I go to make improvements on this, would be to have that there. And then like this other case that I had, it has these little fans. It's got two, two of these little fans. It's a, I don't remember what this is called, but it's like an aluminum heat sink armor case that I bought off of Amazon. I think it was uh, like $14. Um, and so it has these two fans that just come into the one connector, if it focuses, into the one connector, you know, five volt and a ground. And those uh, do fit on that, I have tested it. And so one thing that I would do is try to find, maybe buy another case. I'm not gonna use this one because I'm gonna give this to my stepdad to use. Um, but buy, maybe buy another case or just try to buy these fans and then drill and like drill, dremel out maybe like a rectangle and maybe drill some holes that like some screws will fit through and attach them on the side there. They will fit, I have measured it, like actually measured it, um, but they will fit there on the side so it'll have like some added cooling um, blowing air across both the top and the bottom portion of both boards, keeping them both cool. Because right now this is only going to cool the CPU, and then the little heat sinks will sinks will not fit on these uh, extra chips like the RAM and the GPU and stuff like that. It won't fit on there because this takes up so much space, which is understandable. That's fine, you know. Um, but I just want to do like a little, I guess, overkill build because I haven't really seen um, something like this done on YouTube yet. I've seen a lot of people do clusters. I've seen a lot of people do like custom small cases sort of like this. I've seen a lot of people um, use like these and then they get like the little um, plastic cases that you you would get off of Amazon and they'll cut a hole in it and just have that go around. And I just thought that this would be a bit cool to have it be sort of like a desktop PC or like a little um, media box type of thing. Maybe you could store photos or, or whatnot on here. Or if you had like a, maybe a security, a home security setup, you know, you might not go overkill with this ice tower cooler, but you could have this all set up and like have it running in your office or whatnot. Um, another thing that I do want to um, maybe try to implement, or I'm still learning, so I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm, I'm going to try and figure it out, is to have the Raspberry Pi boot from an SSD. And I'm not going to be using this SSD because this is uh, pretty overkill for it. This is a Sabrent Rocket um, one terabyte uh, PCI Express 4.0 um, SSD. That's a bit overkill because it reads at like five gigs a second and it writes at 4.4 gigs a second. Um, but I might do like a, a smaller, I have a spare SSD that came with this original, the Dell laptop that I got that I might format and use because it's just half a terabyte. Um, but I might try and do that, and then maybe later on I might try and add like a, a um, maybe a webcam because I did say that I would try, I would show, or make a video on how to install like OBS and stuff like that on here. So like if you wanted to, um, maybe if you were, you know, gonna do like your Zoom calls or something on here, or if you wanted to use Discord in the browser, um, or like the second video I might try and make is installing Discord on Ubuntu. Um, but uh, overall, just quick little update on a few things. Um, 
I might try and even get a second panel like this one, but without the cutout just to put on the side because if you don't want to use the GPIO pins for whatever reason, um, you could have that sealed off so nothing will potentially get in there. Um, but yeah, just a quick little update. Sorry, I talk a whole lot. Um, the Raspberry Pi, I did check in the mail. It will be here in two days on the 17th. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, once again, I'll just pause here. If you want to pause on screen and write these down or take a screen capture, um, or I'll put them in the description. And then there's also this here. Now this is, I should iterate, um, or it should make clear. This is the back of the case. This is over where the CPU will sit. So if you look at how this lines up, if you put this over, this is the bottom panel. Um, if you look at how this lines up, which it lines up differently, these ones line up differently because the top ones and the bottom ones are not the same. Uh, especially if you look here, you see that. But the Raspberry Pi will sit in there this way. So the CPU is at the back. So looking at it from ports that'll come out here towards the side where the memory card goes, um, you will cut out four centimeters and then go back 4.3 centimeters and then over four centimeters and then down 4.3 centimeters. Um, and I should have written down like memory card here, ports here. Um, but yeah, so that's how that goes. I'm gonna, I might try and take a picture and put it in like a, a text file or something I can upload if you guys really want that. Um, or if you do, if you want these schematics or whatnot, you could always, you know, comment on the video and I will get those out to you. Or if you have any questions, you could always comment on the video. Uh, I do read comments um, and uh, I'll try and answer any questions. Um, this is like a new project for me, so sort of like a learn as you go type of thing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and this is just a quick little update video on everything since I had figured this out. Um, I'm not sure what day I'm gonna try and cut this out. I might try it maybe tomorrow, maybe today, um, if I can find the time. And um, I'll try and like take a video of me doing this. Um, I do just use my phone, so it's, it's a bit difficult, but I might try and set something up so that I can document that as well. Um, and then I've been looking at like, because under this it's just clear, like this one. These are all just clear. I've been looking on Amazon of like some like 3M vinyl wrap you can get for like fairly cheap, maybe just like black or like carbon fiber or something um, just to keep it like protected. Or, you know, I might leave it open because uh, it is sort of cool to like be able to see all the little chips and stuff inside. Um, I know the second board is a little bit boring because it's just, you know, green and then you have like those two ports. Um, it would be cool to, if it had like something else here, um, but you know, it doesn't. So thanks for watching guys and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to follow with this project, comment if you have any questions, uh, I'll put these in the description below the video and, um, I will catch you guys in the next one.